Papa Swilio, please. I eat healthy liver, grass-fed beef, fruits, etc. I exercise, I sleep well, yet I look fat despite not weighing extra. What does that mean? Is it genetics? All women in my family were big, even during times of war. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not even, that's not an argument there at the end. Uh, genetics, it's not likely genetics. You look fat despite not weighing extra. What does that mean? You mean skinny fat? Are you lifting weights? When you say you exercise. So this is all good. I mean, what's the quantity of the food you're consuming? Sleeping well? How are you quantifying that? Um, could be other things too. It could be other factors, household cleaners, shampoos, other endocrine disruptors could be beneficial as well. I mean, could be de- or very detrimental, period. Uh, blue light late at night. So all these things can increase cortisol and increase fat storage and retention despite not being overweight. Well, how are you, how are you quantifying being overweight? So are you lifting weights when you say you exercise? What does that mean? Genetics, look, genetic, organic cleaners, Understand that, or the word, look, organic can be very loosely, or organic means that the company is paying for certification to be organic. Just because it's not organic doesn't mean it's bad. And just because organic doesn't mean it's automatically good. So you have to be careful with that kind of labeling. So to have like USDA organic, obviously we know you have to pass the gatekeepers. Uh, so what are you doing at the gym? You go to the gym four times a week. Are you lifting heavy, like heavy, heavy? Are you trying to bulk? Are you trying to put on muscle? So genetics always play a role and play a factor. So you say like, and and I'm not saying that you're not doing it, Lori, but just saying you eat healthy, right? You're, what are you, what else are you eating? Like, I need to know a lot more to give an opinion because, and I'm not saying you don't lift weights well, but when someone says they lift weights, it's like, cool. A lot of people lift weights and a lot of people don't get results. So there's always something missing, um, it's not enough just to lift weights. You need to be training a certain way. And you know, it, it's, and I'm not saying you don't, it's just hard to do. So it's hard to answer questions, specific questions with, I have to play, play Sherlock Holmes over here, Swolock Holmes through text. So, and, and the reason why I'm skeptical all the time is when someone says for the amount of people that I have told me that they eat healthy and then I ask what they eat. And I'm like, my God, or they say they lift weights and I watch them train and they don't know what the hell they're doing. So, you know, when someone said like, it's not so much like oh, a lot of people go, look, a lot of people go to the gym, right? Think of how many people, and it's, this doesn't answer your question unless you want to give me some more information. But if you say how many people go to the gym and don't have results, right? Think about it, go to the gym and see how many people that are not in great shape or not making progress. A lot of people go to the gym and just go on the treadmill all the time, or they lift weights and they don't see progress because they're not training hard enough. They're not doing all the other things properly. So going to the gym is great, but the chick that works at the front desk goes to the gym too. She just works the front desk. A lot of people go to the gym and go on the fucking bike or the treadmill the whole time, or they go and do machines and they don't really push hard enough. A lot of people don't train anywhere near as hard as they should in order to build muscle. It's not easy to build muscle. The body doesn't want to build muscle. It will, it will adapt, but you have to really push yourself.